Hi, hello everyone. My name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we are going to focus on how to deploy or how to publish APIs to the Flex Gateway running in the local mode. So in last video, we have seen how to set up a Flex Gateway as a Docker container in the local mode. Right? In this video, we will mostly focus on publishing a multiple APIs to your Flex Gateway ru running in the local mode as a Docker container. Let's start. So if you see, I have already created a three API. This is Node.js health API. Then I have an order API. Then I have an employee API. So the order and the employee API are nothing. It's a MuleSoft API. Apart from that, there's other API which is written in the Node.js, right? And I want to publish these three APIs uh, to the Flex Gateway so I can apply the API policies and I can manage and secure this particular APIs. Right now, this API is open. So anybody can access this API easily, localhost. And let me open 9000 slash API slash employees. Okay. So I have this particular API. Then I have other API, which is 9002 orders. Correct. Now I have a third API, which is running on 9003. And so here you can see. This is my MuleSoft API, just responding a JSON payload. Then I have other MuleSoft API, which is just returning a orders payload. Then I have a Node.js API, this is just responding the health of your API, right? So let's start. Now, as, as I mentioned, we have created a Flex Gateway running in the local mode, which is with the two replica. Just make sure you are, before watching this video, you are watching my previous video. So I have already created that. Now what I will do, let's start publishing one API at a time. So I want to publish this localhost 9000 slash API slash employee to my flex gateway. So I have to create a YAML descriptor file. So I have already created a YAML descriptor file. So let's understand what this file is. So this file basically contains this API version, which is remain constant, kind remain API instance, metadata. You can give any name, then you have to provide the address. So this is my gateway address. So basically what I'm saying, my flex gateway will be running on port 8081 and now I have to transfer the traffic or I have to route the traffic to the employees API and I have to provide some kind of rule. It support the, it, it supports everything. Basically it support wildcards and like wildcard rules and everything. So let me check what is the IP address of my laptop and I will just say IP config. Okay. Let me copy this. And I will just change this IP. So I have to provide implementation URI. It's very simple file like, you know. So simply you can say API version gateway.mulesoft.com that you have provide kind, metadata name. Then you have to provide the spec. So it's, spec is nothing where you have to provide like, you know, what is your URL for your flex gateway and what is the implementation URI for your API, right? So I will just simply save this file and I will copy this file. This is the YAML file, okay? And I will just paste this file, the place where I have created my registration.yaml in the previous video. Just paste it. So once you paste it, you will see something hap happening in background. So you can see it start publishing your order API to the flex gateway. You can see that, right? So now let me run this on localhost 8081 because my flex gateway is running on 8081 and it's employees. So you got the response from your flex gateway. Right. So basically now I'm getting my response via flex gateway. Now I want to apply the policy this, this, uh, to this particular API. So for applying the policy, like you have to just create this particular uh, attributes, policy, policy ref. You have to give a name, you have to give a username, the password. This is the basic authentication policy. I will just copy the content. Just you can see the content. I will copy this and I will go to that employee.yaml file. And I will simply just say enter and paste it. Just save it. Once you save it, you will see something will happen in the background. Yeah, your employee has been published. So let me try again. Okay, let me close the browser or let me open the other browser because this response is already cached. So it will ask me for the username and the password. I'll just say admin, admin. Now I got the response. So now what we have done, we are able to apply the policies to your APIs. Now I want to publish the other API. So what I can do again, I will go back to my employee.yaml, open that file. 
just copy the contain basically from here i want to just publish the order api then i will just change this to orders so you can give any name but i will change to orders and my orders api is running on 9002 and i have to provide the path you can it also support the wildcards so let me shave it now it should publish your order api also all right it's already done so let me check whether i can access my order apis yeah it prompt me for the username and password which is the good sign and you got the order response also via flex gateway let me publish my third api again go back to your yaml file and let me copy this contain paste it just say health health is running on my 9003 and i will simply say health just save it close it okay so it should publish the api very quickly to your flex gateway now i will simply say health okay so let's wait yeah we got the health response also right that's fine yeah we got a health response also so basically you can see we got health response and everything is proper so let me go back to my employees.yaml yeah so everything is good so now what we have done we are able to publish the multiple apis to your flex gateway running in the docker container okay so also we have seen how to apply the policies to your APIs running in the docker container in the local mode it's very simple and like you have to main only the disadvantage of this local mode you have to manage this yaml descriptor file at your own in case if you want to publish any new api you have to do the modification in this particular yaml file if you want to apply the any policies you have to do the modification in this particular yaml file but in the case of connected mode you can do everything from the any point platform you can manage everything from the platform but here we are getting one advantage we can publish a multiple api on the same port number whereas in connected mode we have to publish each and every api on the different port on separate port right so i hope you like the video and then you just understand the cons like difference between a flex gateway in the local mode and the flex gateway in the connected mode so i will be going to publish a more videos on like flex gateway uh, setting up flex gateway in the on the kubernetes as an ingress controller in the local mode and the connected mode and how we can publish the multiple apis to the flex gateway running as an ingress do kubernetes ingress controller thanks for watching i if you like my video please click on like and subscribe button thank you